Welcome to Cambodia, the ancient country situated between Thailand and Vietnam. In the country's northwest region, we find the world's largest religious monument, Angkor Wat. Built during the reign of Suryavarman II in the early 12th century, Angkor Wat was originally constructed as a series of temples for the Hindu god Vishnu. But by the end of the century, the site was largely used for Buddhist practices. This huge structure sits on a 203-acre site surrounded by a three-mile moat. The temples themselves stand on a three-level terrace which positions the top of the central tower 213 feet off the ground. This monument is not only a series of temples but also a mausoleum for the Khmer kings. Each successive king had a tower built to be his resting place, and together the towers represent Mount Meru, the home of the Hindu gods. Angkor Wat was more than a site for worship and burial, however. The monuments bear thousands of bas-relief carvings that depict historical scenes of war and triumph, as well as religious rituals and myths. These depictions can be difficult to understand without context but the monument's Sanskrit carvings offer substantial explanation. By translating these writings, historians have discovered the key to many of Angkor Wat's mysteries. But even with all that knowledge, there is still one major mystery that hasn't been satisfactorily explained. How was it built in the first place? The monument is made out of more than five million sandstone blocks, with each weighing around a tonne. That's millions more blocks than the Great Pyramid of Giza. Historians believe that the sandstone was quarried 25 miles away and that elephants hauled the blocks to the building site. Even so, considering the sheer size of the monument and the fact that nearly every inch is covered in relief carvings, the number of labourers and artisans had to be in the thousands. A low anger walk was mostly abandoned by the end of the 1500s, the site was never totally deserted, and even today it's still used as a place of worship. But that's not all. From the 1990s to the present day, Angkor Wat has become a major tourist destination. Millions of people have travelled to visit this astounding architectural marvel. One of the most popular activities is watching the sunrise over the temple. It is truly a spectacular sight.